All right, so we are back. Um, and yeah, we, um, we've got ourselves a, uh, a, a way onto the thing. Um, what's the approach? What's, what's the plan as far as like, now that we can get, now that we're, so like, yeah, you, you head onto the ship, you walk through the, like, the, the like, getting onto the ship there's like um there's the the atmospheric change so like you walk it's like when you walk onto a plane and there's that whoosh, all of the like the cold the cold air that you walk through and then suddenly the atmosphere inside is completely different except instead of going mm -hmm. from like the going into like a slightly cooler more sterile atmosphere you're going into like a muggy one um uh, because like the whole area has got it's it's warmed and it has all of these like pools and waterfalls but they're all heated um mm -hmm. so like the whole area feels kind of slightly like a uh slightly like a sauna um but yeah it, um and has uh has like fake like um fruit and leaf smells in the air oh wow <laughs> um yeah and there's and like yeah now the uh the marimba is obnoxious um now that you're actually inside the <laughs> ship and uh and yeah um so the area that you're in is the like is the like recreation garden and then there's then you head into the main cabins um and then the cabins are divided up into like the recreational cabins then the uh then the the like the sleeping in what's the word i want the like the places that you stay your rooms um and then at the back <laughs> is all like the engineering um uh, and all of that sort of stuff staff ca uh, staff cabins things like that what's the, what's the plan okay. should we ask for <clears throat> mr kefabara yeah you want to you want to ask about um mr Barras? um yeah i mean they um the people are happy to give you his his room number um um so oh wow yeah, like like you like you have official police inspector things right like mm -hmm. you um so yeah. they're like they're like um the the point is that though that they're going to then be like that's the person that's being inspected right like and they're going to start to yeah. worry about that so um but yeah mm -hmm. you can absolutely do that so they, they direct you to like where his rooms are um mm -hmm. yeah so um we head past the uh the like um the the like um entertainment like stage area with like bars lined both sides um and uh, and like it's probably a jazz band on at this time of day um mm -hmm. just performing like smooth jazz um there are uh and like there's an argument um about uh between a couple of older women uh, older women who are arguing over like um over a guy who seems to be just sitting there looking smug as fuck with his horrible like uh his, his <laughs> horrible old man mustache just being like yes yes oh um God. and then yeah we, we 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 head past like the entertainment area um the section with all of the pokey machines um and then into um and into the the the, the like the accommodation area that's the what i was looking for um and mm -hmm um when we get there um his his like you have you have a thing um you have you, i think you probably have a staff member with you who like tries to unlock the door okay. and like they the lock clicks but it's like <laughs> and it seems to be stuck from or, or they're like i i'm sorry i don't under and they're like like putting the the thing into uh, the shoulder into it but it doesn't seem to be moving can i rig the door uh and it just pulls like just Pull apart the locking mechanism. Sure, that sounds more like hacking, but but like yeah, rigging. Yeah, you can you can do that. Um, I think that if it's rigging, it's probably limited, as opposed to. Um, but yeah, you can you can rig it limited. Uh, risky. They don't want you to break the door. They don't want you to like d damage it. And there's a, there's a there's a chance of it being like irreparable. Actually, like, can we check I, the room on either side first? They open. Yeah. yeah uh, um, Warden, the person's not going to let you do that, right? Unless uh, unless you uh, unless those people 
uh, unless you like name the people whose rooms they are, right? Oh, we don't need to investigate anything in the. We don't need to look. It's a it's a structural question. Yeah. Okay. So the the person is like, I'll go and check that the door is opening. You stay here. Uh, and if there are any holes in the walls. Right. They're not going to open the door and like um, go in there because there might be people in there at the moment. It's not like a time when, yeah. Um, so they're going to just like check that the door opens and, and it does. Okay. I just wanted to know if the rooms had been punched through like at the hotel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they haven't. I mean, they're, they're like... They haven't had any reports <laughs> of that kind of violence. So, yeah, um, yeah. Harriet returns to you and she's like, the doors seem to be opening fine. Uh, that, and we haven't had any uh, loud noises or anything like that. Um, no reports of disturbances. Good. Um, but um, I, can get, uh, I can get someone from maintenance down to try and open the door for you, if, if that's what you need. Is there like a vent or something? I have this servo bot that could look to see oh, if there's yeah. something blocking the door. And she's like, yes, there's a vent. She just like points up, right? Like, um, yeah. And and like, yeah, you could easily just un un undo that and send your servo bot in. That's okay. That's not going to need maintenance. She's like, no, I, I just, I'm not strong enough to lift this out of the way, whatever it is. Sometimes people put chairs in the way because they don't want people coming well, in. Well, it could be but a normally... body, it could be a chair. So we need to, we should find out a first. A body? Oh, God. Um, so we'll... Normally it's just a chair of people having sex. <laughs> I put my stethoscope on the door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Do I you want to, just... yeah. Um, like between the stethoscope and your bot, do you want to like study? Is that what you want to do? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, cool. Cool. That's fun. <laughs> um, sure, go for it. What is my position and effect? This one's pretty controlled, actually. Um, um, but I think it's probably limited. Um, I'm I think that's gonna... okay for this situation because we're just we're just finding things just out. Just finding things out. Yeah, exactly. Um, let me just. Got a six. Done. Find out all the things. Nice. Cool. Six is three ticks on a clock, isn't it? Yeah, cool. Um, can I please have white text, please? Computer. Investigation. Now I want to type. Investigation is currently at three out of six. Cool. Um, so uh, the room is... Uh, inside there's, there's no one actually okay the servo bot doesn't see anything but you can hear breathing through the like somewhere in the room um maybe the maybe the server uh, but like the servo bot i suppose the audio sensors aren't as like as good as your um uh, as good as your uh um yeah there's stethoscope. A, a, yeah as the stethoscope but yeah um it appears that um the uh the door has been like um like on the other side quite like manhandled like just bashed up a bit uh, a bunch to the point where it's actually like um uh, where like the the like rails that it's on are it's like jumped off the rails um someone's been opening and closing this door with way more like force than is needed um and everything in the room is very like thrown about um there's like a huge like uh like like a huge trunk that's just kind of like tilted up against the wall as if it's been like just tossed to the side there um and um and like all of the bedclothes have just been like piled into the center of the room including like the mattress to make like a nest um rather than rather than <laughs> this being is like just a, like monkey um and yeah uh, but like it's clear that th this has been the status quo for a while right like um like that nest has been there uh, that nest is like 
been there for a while um and like it, it's clearly like not new hmm um uh, I think a strong also, man has wrecked the door yeah 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 um the other thing that i think you can see with the servo is um the map of the um of the uh of the system that that shows like where you, where we're going on this cruise has like a bunch of stuff pinned to it um like a, like a like a murder board and then like a big red circle around a keddy um and uh yeah like the things that are pinned to it are like a couple of pictures of faces um and then um and then like probably um probably like um like printouts of like uh of like more um like like um medical printouts um being you uh dr loki sky lizard you you can easily recognize like um those faces are yaru in disguise Huh. Not like clones, but y like pe members of the Yaru. But they're clearly like, I fought on a baseball cap to be in disguise, right? But they all have this, like, they all have that, like, kind of, um, preternaturally aged face that comes from dealing with gene tech, right? You're constantly, you're constantly being exposed to, um, to the, to the kinds of forces that wear, that make flesh become old and die. Hmm. So would it be a rig roll to open the door knowing that it's physically... Yeah, but it, yeah and, it, and it's less, less risky now. Okay. Or rather, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's still... It's risky standards still, I, I think, but yeah. I'll do that as well. But you get just... a bonus dice for a setup action. Yay! That's. I was just trying to work out what the mechanic was, and then I remember how setup actions work, so... So then we can be in there and about doing things. Mm -hmm. Can I? Can we request of Harriet? Do they keep a log of people coming and going? Um, yes. I mean, like people checking into and out of the ship. Yep. Okay. Cool. Um, can we find out if Mister Burrows is presently on the ship? She brings it up. And apparently, he is. Excellent. Do you know where? She doesn't know that. She like it's just when you check in uh, uh, on or off the ship. Um, he hasn't. Okay. Purchased, I mean, he hasn't purchased anything in the like in the last twenty four hours, which is the other way you'd know if he were in a specific area. Do you want to open up that door? I was I was muted. Sorry. Ah, yeah. Um, sure. <laughs> I was gonna say that um uh Orv has some limited attune abilities and i i wonder if um they can't attune to kind of get a sense of direction for where he might be yeah yeah no that certainly seems like a thing Do you wanna, um, what, what i think Orv probably probably does it quietly and doesn't tell anyone uh, of course and and then depend on the result we'll tell everyone what they find out <laughs> yep 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 cool they just um, kind of they kind of like slowly step back and lean against the wall and just kind of like the the suit goes dark mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. cool um cammy did you want to read the door open or do you want to see what our attune looks like uh, i'll get the we can we can multitask sure All yeah right. do you want to um so or of, um, so what do you want, what's your intention here? You want to find out the, where, like, you want to find direction towards, um, towards the, uh, towards the person currently believed, uh, currently using the name Burrows? Yes. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Um, how are you, what are you trying to find that might be looking like them? Right. What, um, what, what kind of feeling are you searching for? I think, I think probably Oros has picked up, um, picked up on like their um their kind of smell yeah yeah is it like the the emotional impact they have on the way 
Yeah, yeah. Because you know, they were having like a fit in. Yeah, in but like it's like a smell. It's not like a feeling. It's like an emotional smell. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's it's pretty rancid, I think. Yeah, right. I was gonna say that yeah, sounds yeah, yeah. really gross. Um, Doctor Lucky Sky Lizard, you you rig open the door. Um, it involves like physically lifting the door back onto its rail, but you do that. Um, and like uh, and um and yeah, yeah and it it slides open much more easily now. Um, um, and inside, yeah, is the room with the um with the the nest in the middle. Um, yeah, more of these. Uh, I, I think um, some suitcases open with like actual books inside them. You can see that they're like the books are splayed open. Um, yeah, the the like big trunk like uh, leaned against the wall, and um, and like a whole bunch of um, uh, a whole bunch of like newspapers where or I suppose not newspapers, but like printouts from newspapers, right? Like where someone's like been like, no, I want this on easy on easy hand. Um, um, showing like things in amarath and in nightfall and like clearly related to these faces or something um now um for our attune roll i think it's risky um and cuz we're currently in a, in a in yeah i think it's risky and I think the um, the effect is probably going to be limited to start with. Okay, so I think I'll I'll trade and make this desperate mm -hmm. for standard. For standard, yeah. Yeah, cool, awesome. So you, I mean, that involves rather than just listening, sending out a ping, right? Being like, mm -hmm. wow, and seeing yep. if anything like responds. Yeah. Um. Cool. I do have an ability, but I don't think I want to use it yet because it involves making making damage. So I'll mm -hmm. wait for that. Sure. All right. Cool. 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 Um, so we'll we've got desperate see. desperate standard. See if I can pull this off. Yep. Three. Um, that's the the thing that go that that you pick up with in your like sonar response is not the same thing that you picked up on. Um, in the um, the the thing that the thing that responds is like a shark, right? It has that it has that like like cold focus killer instinct. And Dangerous. That, that is okay. somewhere on the ship. <clears throat> I think it has a weird echo. There might be two of them. Oh gosh. <laughs> I think Arv goes and, and that, that's, on, a, that's on... a that's a that's a reading of intent, right? Some that's someone's right. very strong emotional intent. Everyone else here, their emotions are part of their everyday. They're slightly upped because they're having a nice time. Um, some of them are sort of like messy because they're drunk. But like everyone else is kind of like low level, and then someone is having that extreme emotional experience of like. So it's like a totally different color to all the other emotions that yeah. are like muddy. Yep, yep, yep. You were expecting to find something that was like that was like blood orange and rancid, and instead you found this cold, hard, ready thing. Cool. Um, yeah, I think Arv just tugs on Ren's jacket and says, mm -hmm. um, "We have a problem. <clears throat> there might be something dangerous on board. I don't know what it is. Oh, but it's kind of like a shark." There might be two. It's kind uh, of like a shark. That's all I can um, tell you. Do you know if it's noticed you? Uh, probably. I'm really sorry. Oh. You definitely Good. got that feeling that it had like picked up on like the blood in the water, right? When you did yeah, the thing. Yeah, but I don't want to panic anyone. Yeah, so I'm yeah, just yeah. like, yeah. yeah. If there's probably. two, it might be someone looking for Burrows as well. Oh. And if it's all right, well. If it's what? So, just is Harriet still with us? Whether or yeah, not she's just like Harriet. standing a few feet away, being like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> We're just well, doing Harriet. weird things while she's. I she's, I she's, here to, she's here to escort the police, and the police are uh, the police. One of whom is 
uh, one of whom is like a weird cyborg, so cyborg and another who is a, a tiny octopus in a suit, who is currently saying that there's a shark on board, right? And she's, I, and she's, she, she, she's like trying to decide whether or not she needs to calm other people to like get them to help her handle the situation. I think oh. I explained to Harriet the stuff on the floor. Burroughs is a large man. That you know, maybe the bed's not comfy for him. He sleeps on the floor, or he's turned into a monkey already. The new the map on the wall with all these people are people he's targeting, right? We don't know why he's targeting them yet. I'll get to that. But maybe people are targeting Burroughs because people because Burroughs is targeting people. So, but we have to tread carefully. So maybe don't alert everyone because then things might get out of hand. I just have to. I, I I'm required by company policy to uh, to notify my line manager. To, uh... I cannot tell you how little we care about your company policy at the moment. People could die, Harriet. You need to we'll understand to that giant monkeys. far more important. And or one and then the other, really. We've no I idea. Have... We've no way of knowing at this point. <clears throat> really, she'll have your balls. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like someone's commanding. <laughs> So good, yeah. I'm definitely commanding. Command. It sounds like I have assistance, but I don't know if we want to just make that narrative. It's up to you if you want to spend a stress on it. Um, I'll spend a stress sure. to okay. right. cough balls. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'll spend a stress to cough balls. Best sentence of the day. I love, love role-playing um, games. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, what's my uh, what's my position on this? Um, okay, so. There's a like, um, the risk is that like, th like it's not desperate, but but like Harriet is like at risk of like notifying a line manager, right? And like creating rumors. Desperate would be she runs out of the room screaming, being like, "Oh, everyone's gonna die!" Right? Um, so like, so like she's not gonna panic and like make it. Uh, it's not desperate. She's not gonna panic and run out of the room, but she is like, "I need to tell my boss," right? So that's risky um okay uh as far as effect if you want her to continue helping you you'd have to get it up from limited somehow right at the moment she's following you around making sure you don't break anything if you wanted to be helpful then that you'd have to mm -hmm. then i would need you to bump it up to uh to limited somehow uh, from limited to standard somehow I'm wondering how I can make it desperate. I just want all the desperate roles now. I mean, that's just telling her just how fucking scary it is, right? Then she's going to be more likely to help, but also more likely to panic and tell uh, and run out everyone being like, ah! Oh, yeah, right? okay. like, so how I'm going to do that is by saying, and now the newest information we have is that there are some potentially incredibly dangerous beings on board looking for anyone with knowledge about this situation, which happily now includes you. Yep. Excellent. Cool. So now desperate. She might panic and alert everyone. Uh, I'm fine with it. But so is this still limited or standard no, now? This is standard then. now. You've bumped it up. Great. Okay. And you're getting one dice from help. Um and Ah yes. Um you right. aren't we're not doing a devil's bargain for anything. We're not spending any gambits. Alright, let's do this. Oh, two sixes! Hello, Critical. Ren knows how to command. Critical Commanding success. Like a boss. Okay, so you now have so yeah. so like Harriet is like you're so cool and badass. She's basically like, <laughs> she basically wants to be your sidekick now. Oh my gosh! She's like, yeah, okay, I understand. Really important, Des desperate, like yeah, okay. Let's let's save some lives. <laughs> Great. Great, Harriet. Let's do just that. She's like, but first, I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Make sure the toilet's there if you first. Just, yeah. mm. so Boris she, has a precedent. So she like excuses herself for like five seconds, but like yeah. <laughs> um, Harriet's a boss. I would like to study the Yaru because they're my thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe. Big strong lady can open the box because it's a big box. Sure. Cool. Or whatever um, the lady wants to do. Is that 
Is that me? I don't I don't know really what you're talking about. Um yeah, I have um I have a bunch of scrap. So if that is how you open a big difficult box. I mean you just It might just be it, open. It's, it's just secured. Or maybe it it's, just opens. It's secured with two leather belts. Oh, just... in that case I'd say, oh hold on a second. Do we um Orovsh, is there a way that you can perhaps check just to make sure because in the past we've had a big box and there was something alive in the box oh you need me to check for lizards i heard about that adventure that's <laughs> fun that's sad i missed it so sure let's check for lizards you want to attune it's controlled yeah. um limited we're just gonna find out if something is alive in there mm -hmm. i guess yeah. Six. No, a hu a human is alive in there. Nice. A human is alive in there. Holy crap, get those belts off. I take those belts right off real mm -hmm. quick and pop the lid on the box. Yep, cool. Uh, there is a man tied up in there. He looks extremely emaciated. Um, he oh has my a, gosh. He's like gagged. Does he look like he any of the like, Yeri? No, he doesn't. Um, Are you doing you, a, you, I mean, a you recognize him though. Um, it takes you a moment to be like, ah, oh, his face is in the back of the books. So this is the oh, real wow. Burroughs. Yep. I'm not, I'm, I mean, okay. So is the guy we've been chasing very clearly not the real Burroughs or could this be a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde kind of a situation? Um, I mean, like, what, hmm? um, like, they're very different facial structures, right? Like, they, right. they don't, okay. they, they so, don't look like so they could maybe, be related, maybe. right? Um, cool. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Um, I, uh, I want to take the, the gag off this person. Are they conscious? Yeah, 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 yeah. They're very frightened now. They're like, yeah, they're not okay. sure whether or not you're safe, what's going on. They're yeah, like, no, that's oh, fine. Yeah, they're, they're definitely like shaken up. That's fine. Cool. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's an entirely that's very, reasonable so response. Ren. <laughs> I'm super glad that, um, that Harriet was not in the room for this because I feel like she might have had a little bit of a tough time. I mean, well, she maybe absolutely she's a returns now. halfway through this, right? She's like, oh my God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> As we pop the lid on a box with a. And with an like, emaciated person she's like, inside. Who's that? And and yeah. Uh, let's find out, shall we? And I take the gag off of this person. Yeah, he's like, who are you people? What's going on? Uh where here? Are you with him? Uh, that monster? Uh no, decidedly no, absolutely no. Um, are you in some way? Uh um, I'm in a box. Can can you help me out? <laughs> Yes, sure. Yes, of course. Uh, I like help, like use my muscular power to basically just lift this person out and mm -hmm. like help them to sit somewhere. Yep, yep, with yep, yep, yep. Um, Harriet fetches him a glass of water. Um, oh, she's a good girl. Or if she's handing handing him a towel. Yep. Um, yeah, he's not feeling great, but um, yeah. Um, blah, 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 blah. So yeah, he's um, he's like. Uh, he, he he's like I, I i signed on uh, i i was here to pick up my tickets and then something so, something growled and and hit me and i i don't know i've been uh, how long has it been how long have i been in there i feel like uh, i'm going to have so um, many books to write about all these strange dreams uh yes well i'm sure that's going to be incredibly lucrative um but at the moment you should um, cash us in on that have you have you been hearing anything? The creature has been staying here. This person has been staying in your room by the look of things. All of the horrible growling and and grumbling, not words. I don't think. All right. Um. How long since you last heard anything? It's like I've lost all sense of time. Um. Uh. Oh, yes. I fell asleep. I, th I think I've been fallen asleep twice. I don't know if for, if for an hour or several. All right, all right. Um, now I'm sure there's a very fine um, ship's doctor on board who can see to your long term. But uh, for now, uh, doctor, perhaps you'd like to just 
make sure that the patient's not, um, you know, terribly looks damaged. Fine. Yeah, I mean, you can Good. see that yes, like, he's, he's, he is malnourished and dehydrated, but those are the worst things. Um, and pass him okay, an orange okay. from like a fruit bowl in the... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So good. Yep, a hundred percent. There you go. Vitamin C is good for you. Take it slow. That's a professional doctor's opinion. <laughs> Take it slow, friend. It's like, yes, okay, good, great. And starts like slowly peeling this orange, just being like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> um Of course yeah. he does. Yep, well, Let's yep. find out about the Yaru, maybe? Sure. It's almost like I'm tempted to tell Harriet to just call security and round the other guy up. And that's her job done. What I mean, do we yeah. think about that? I mean, yeah, we can try. We don't know if cruise ship security have the capacity to handle a giant. I mean, the thing is, cruise ship security will turn them uh, will turn him over to the feds, right? Like, but then I mean, allowed... we're getting money. Well, we. Oh, you saying you want them to turn them over? Turn them over to us? Yes. Yes. Oh, I see. They'll, I mean, they'll hold him in a holding thing until someone else comes to collect him for, for, for like, jail. For biological crimes. I would like to learn about these Yaru. Yeah, yeah, go I for it. The Yaru um, the... So what do you think, what action do you think that is? It's just, that's a study. It's consulting my knowledge of oh, them. I 100% agree. I just want to check. Um, what is my such and such? Yeah, limited control. Can I assist for um, for greater effect? Um, I don't I know if you can get. Try to time my, uh, I don't know if time. you can assist for effect. You can assist for dice. Oh right, of course. You can push yourself for better effect. Oh right. I think good. I would like to play into my unstable uh, trauma here in that. Like looking at these Yaru and figuring out what they're about and the relation between them and giant monkey man that isn't Burroughs, I'm going to get like super paranoid. Mm -hmm. Like, oh my God, they're onto me. They're, they're, maybe he's coming after me. Maybe the two shark people are coming after me. Uh, find out everything and then hide. Cool. Thing he like starts pulling things off the wall, like saying, "There's nothing here. There's nothing here." Sure, cool, cool, cool. So that's for effect. That's pushing. That? That's trading position for effect. So making it risky and standard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. I'll allow it. Double twos. I mean, you recognize these faces. These are the faces of like two of your, uh, two of your like, uh, creators slash tormentors, right? You immediately like go straight into, uh, into like these are people that I know. These are people that are hunting me. Um, yeah. And then everything's destroyed. Yeah. Um. At which point, um, Harriet's like, um, the 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 gentleman on the in the pictures they're in the hallway they're like she's like lean leans out and leans back in they're like the gentlemen in the pictures are in the hallway they're coming down they're, they're coming this way one of them has a baseball cap on two of them two of them i look at our and i go two sharks um uh. Can I, do I need to attune to, to double check that's what I sensed before or? I mean, just... you, yeah, you know what you sensed before, like you have the information I told you before. If you mm -hmm. wanted to like look at them and attune at the same time and be like, confirm that you could, but like, yeah, you know that, that, that like, that, that like, it could, it could be a, like, like, like the sharks are entirely likely to be human, but like have that feeling about them. Right. Mm -hmm. So they are Yaru trackers, like they're they're designed to find people. 
Great. Do the rest of us really know much about the Yaru? I mean, you're familiar with them because they provide, like, they're, they're the ones that provide clones, right? Um, and if you okay. have any interaction with clones, you will, they will have been purchased from the Yaru. Okay. Um, they're the only ones who have a hegemonic license to, to do cloning. Um, presumably because the hegemony, the, the hegemony has a bunch of rules about clones, um, including okay. like how long they can live, things like that. And so the Yaru, okay. they only provide the license to one group so that they, so that like they know who to come after if, if any clones are made oh, not okay, according right. to those rules, right? So the Yaru, so, like, are they, uh, sorry. No, go ahead. I was just going to ask they're human. Yeah, 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 yeah. Although, like, the Yaru as a group are quite, um, kind of cultish, right? They have a whole bunch of weird traditions and things like that. Sometimes they, they, uh, sometimes they're not supposed to, uh, ever make anything that wouldn't be, that wouldn't, so with the, with the genetic, um, genetic manipulation of their clones, they're not supposed to make anything that wouldn't ever be considered within, uh, like, um a species deviation from human um so like everything so a clone should always be basically human right um um they shouldn't have enough genetic difference to not create um apart from the fact that they're all created sterile in intentionally um uh they should be human human matching um that said it's believed that the Yaru, because they've become this like weird semi cultish religious group that sometimes like they'll genetically alter their children if they if like you have two people who are members of Yaru having children and things like that um because okay. because there's that thing of like it's a it, in that like they often don't have social relations outside of the their 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 group. So I guess, Cammy, like, do we know that you have a really negative past with the Yaru? Is that something yes, that I you am, would share? Like, I think I would have divulged that, yes. Yeah, I think cool. you all know that think, that, right. that, 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 uh, that Tin Can, uh, i.e. Uh, the yeah. Liquid Sky Lizard, is an escaped clone. I think cool. uh, okay, Orov or can kind of, like, feel the, the ping of these people coming down the hallway, and they kind of... Um, I think they scramble to close the door. <laughs> just close the door. Like that's mm -hmm. that was that's their first instinct is to just like close the door again. Yeah. So like Harriet like steps inside and the door goes as uh, yeah as, as like yeah um as Arj like sh like slams it shut. Kind of kind of jumps a little bit and like hits the little sensor on the wall that uh -huh. closes it. Yeah. Uh, did anyone notice if they were armed? Uh, Harriet's like I couldn't tell they were wearing uh sports coats they could have had anything in there oh oh terrible terrible uh, uh well there... loki yes yeah, go there ahead a... is there a security camera in the hallway um yes there's security cameras everywhere okay i am going to hack into the security cameras cool yes. awesome yeah 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 so what does that look like um I think there's like a panel that's in by the door that people use to like get room service and stuff. Yeah, and um, like set the air conditioning and stuff. Yeah, and so Orange like pulls the cybernetics out of the back of the teenage girl suit and like just plugs mm -hmm. it in. Mm -hmm. Cool, 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 cool. And away they go. All They're right. like little, well, their little tentacles are going. So you just <laughs> want to be able to see everything that's happening in the hallway. Is that is that yeah. what you want? Cool, cool, yeah. cool. Um, I think that's actually, but you want to do it quickly, don't you? Yeah, real quick. Okay, so that's. I think that's actually desperate, right? To be real fast. Um, okay. But yeah, desperate limited straight off the bat. Okay. And I'm going to push myself. Yep. Do you want to push yourself for dice or for a um, No, wait, sorry. I'm not going to push myself. Um, I have exceed specs. While on board a ship, you may damage a ship system you have access to in order to gain plus one D or plus one effect per roll. Do you want extra effect or dice? Um, I think I'm going to do extra effect with exceed specs, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to also push myself for extra dice. Yep, sure, great, cool. So spend two stress, extra dice, and we're going for now desperate standard. Cool. Awesome. Five. 
All right. So, um, oh, dang. All right. Um, your so there's a right and you and like the and that system everything except connecting to the the like so suddenly it gets really dry and warm in the room it's not going to all, uh, uh, um uh, call uh, uh call room service anymore like it's not going to do anything other than like be a com port now um and also uh that that like zap has like welded your your connection cable on into the port. Oh, good, <laughs> excellent. Um, uh. So yeah, but on the plus side, you have like full color vision of the uh, of the room. So yeah, the um, um. So yeah, there are these two Yaru walking down. They're kind of yeah. They're they're dressed as, uh, as like, um, like one's wearing a baseball cap. They're both wearing like sports coats and like ill-fitting jeans and like sneakers um which like clearly don't aren't like their normal clothes at all they move very mechanically but fluidly right like very like smooth motions um as they move down the uh, as they move down the hallway um they're not looking at each other but perfect uh, but like walking in perfect lockstep um and yeah they're, they're, they're coming down um from uh from like the same way you came down, which is from the front of the ship. Um, additionally, I think you can see that um, uh, that like um, that like someone else has like come to go like go out of the uh, like come out of their room, seen these two people, freaked out, and gone back inside. <laughs> um, but yeah, you you have full full view of that of that hallway, and probably like. Cool. Um, some nearby other i think i think you have full view of like the main accommodation area cool um, so we'll yeah. we should get a heads up if they pull any weapons or anything like yep, that. yep yep um yeah anyone want to do anything else before they because uh, yeah like this happened almost instantly can, can harriet just... lock the door please i mean it is locked <laughs> yes it, it was locked by orosh orosh pressed the lock okay. button and you can't unlock the door now because the thing that you pressed to lock the door just got fried. It's welded to our Yeah. Um, can, can we... Say, can we... <laughs> yeah. Is there a way that we can get out of this room another way? Is there, like, a balcony or something that we can try and leave from and then... Uh, I mean... Because they're not here for us, right? Like, they're here for the guy that we're here for. So if we get out of here and they're wasting their time trying to get in through a locked door, then we can still find out. There's not a guy. balcony because these are all internal internal cabins, but there is um, there is the drone chute, right? Like, the thing, like, that's probably, like, this big, right? That is that, that is the thing that, like, the cleaning drones come and go through. What if we just oh. wait? I mean, yeah, right? Like, yeah, let's see what they wait. do. I mean, yeah, we can, but I mean, we couldn't get in through the locked door, and then we got in through the locked door. So, yeah, but that's because I have hydraulics in my cybernetics. Wasn't the door jammed that's as well? It. Yeah, but like the door I, was, I was jammed the door. Yeah, but now it's like mechanically locked, and so if they don't have a way to do that from the outside then i might wander off to find someone okay mm -hmm. yeah cool who knows cool so yeah we um so we, we sit and wait and we watch them walk slowly up the uh up the hallway and just both of them turn right together um um yeah. and then like face the drawer and like knock on it this is the um the they just knock and like wait patiently outside the door Two by two, hands of blue. I know, right? A minute passes. They knock again. You hear them outside. One of them says, uh, "One of them says, it appears to be locked." The other says, uh, uh, "The other says, it does." And then I think Orov, you see, uh, see them reach into their. Uh, uh, reach into their like robe and pull out um uh, and pull out um a device of some kind of like 
and like turn on an oxy torch. Uh, so uh, how do we feel about leaving now? And immediately you see the door start glowing red, right? <laughs> no, 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 sorry. They turn on the oxy torch and then like there's... And then it starts glowing red. Right then. <laughs> <laughs> they gave us one last time. How kind. Third time's the charm. Um, I think... I think I hear someone in there. What if we... We could call security, get Harriet to say, these I mean, people are breaking Harry's, in. Yeah, Harriet's like, yeah. Harriet's like, I mean, I, I can call security. I, I that, That's the thing I can do. Um, it, it's just that they'll take a minute to respond. I'm what fine are we... with that, but I feel like we shouldn't be here when that happens. Is there a reason for us to stay? How do we escape? Can you fit through the drone shoot? Drone shoot? All, of you, uh, all of you could fit through the drone shoot just awkwardly. Oh, okay. Oh. Um, like I said, it's like. Should we go in? Should we go in size order? So if anyone gets stuck, they're just the last person to get stuck. Who's I'm the gonna go last because I have like lots of weaponry, and if it comes to a shootout, the other option like is to, to wait for them and then says, knock uh, them out with. Uh, he'd like yeah, to be yeah, last. Is not, he says he'd no, like to he not would be like last. To not be last. I think he could go first. We'll just, just like, push him uh, He immediately starts him. climbing in. <laughs> yep. Come in. How do we detach Oroz <laughs> from the... I Good think question. maybe um, I'll need to do a rig roll or something. You'll need to do a rig roll or you could just like... Um, or you could just like break it off and, and take uh, take harm for it. I can do a rig Let's for you. Rig. Let's do a rig roll first. Yep. So I've, got, I've got one in rig. We'll see how it goes. Um... I, I guess so I, pull yeah, out, um, I pull out. I pull out like the tiniest spanner and start like fiddling. Yep, cool, cool. cool. Um, Harriet's like, um, please be as quick as you can, Mister Burrows. The uh, the drone chambers are uh, are not uh, are not supplied with oxygen, so the only uh, so the only atmosphere is ambient. <laughs> deep breaths. Okay, no, 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 um... not deep breaths at all. As shallow breaths as possible. <laughs> no, 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 deep breath up here before. Before we go in, yes, that makes sense. Doctor, doctor, sorry, I'm really sorry. I forgot your name because you're very new to me. But do you want to follow him? Make sure he doesn't pass out. Yes. Cool. <laughs> Excellent. They do call me the Sky Lizard after all. That's it, Sky Lizard. Thank you. Because <laughs> we're climbing into it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got it. You do call me the Sky. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's my position? Um, for this Can one, desperate. Roll? Mm -hmm. Um, and standard, uh, right? Like you, you will get the thing. Okay. Ooh, a two. All right, cool, excellent. Do you want to take harm or be stuck here? I'm gonna take harm. Cool, excellent. So that's level two harm. Um, and that is, uh, and that is, uh, like, um, com fried. Oh, my comms are fried. No, 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 as in like, basically, so level two harm is negative one dice to doing mm -hmm. things. So if you're trying to do anything with that comm cable, you're doing it at negative one. Okay. So that's why it's comm fried, right? Is is because you have some damage to your comm systems. Okay. Not enough that you can't comm, but enough that it'll be bad. Okay. Um. Cool. Then it sounds like everyone's rolling a group action to GTFO. Yeah. Yeah. To scramble, really? Sounds like a scramble group. I've got two in scramble. Who's leading? The like, who's the person who's in charge of the scrambling? Ren, because she's at the back. Yeah, that's that makes sense. Cool. Awesome. I'll take that. Um, I'm gonna, um, roll, I'm gonna roll for the NPCs, uh, both of whom are not great, but like also not terrible. So. So what's the um, what's the role here? Um, so you're rolling scramble, you're rolling desperate, uh, limited at the moment because of the extra time that it took to get, uh, to get our, our, our un, unhooked. Mm -hmm. Okay. But at least you went stuck so do we have... when they came in the door, right? 
Yeah. Can I, so do can I push for greater effect because uh, Loki is reckless? They're really pushing. Yeah, I would want to see. Along. I would like, want to see someone else push as well to get it up to reckless for the whole group. Sure, I will push as well. Okay, cool. Then yeah, then we're up to standard. I, Do I have to spend stress for that? Two stress, yeah. Two stress. Was it desperate? So standard? we're all desperate standard desperate now. Desperate standard yeah. now, yeah. Okay. No bonus dice. Um, nope. Unless you have a reason cool. for that. Um, I got five. Mine's a five. All right. So this one is for, um, this is for Harriet. I got a two because I had to take the better of the oh, worst. Oh, Harry. And this is for Barras. Okay, so Harry gives you a stress, and Cammy give, uh, and uh, Loki gives you a stress. But otherwise, they're mine, aren't they? As the leader, yeah, you're taking two stress. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Um, cool. cool. But other than that, we um. We are. I'm just going to tick down your investigation clock by one point because this fucking around has meant that he's had time to uh, get away a bit more if he wants to. Um, mm -hmm. So, but that. But other than that, right? Like, um, uh, th you managed to get away from the the Yaru. Um, uh, I think who I, I think Ren you hear one say, he has pictures of us, and the other one is like. It is, uh, those are definitely pictures of us. And we slide down this metal slide thing. Mm -hmm. um, holding, holding our breath. Yeah, right. You're holding your <laughs> breath. You, you're like having to do the like the the the, the wiggle thing as you go uh, as you go down, and I think you end up in like uh, a room full of cleaning drones, right? Like, uh, mm -hmm. it's, this is like the and like there's a huge like. Um, circular like drone um this like um vending machine type thing like it's it's it, like the point is that it spins around and there's an arm that picks up the right drone and like puts it on the ground and it goes off to do its job um and yeah there's um uh there's a woman here who like is like what the fuck when you like uh when you you drop out and and um and harry is uh, like hey magda uh we just uh um we're investigating uh some stuff they're, they're cops uh we're here to uh we're, i'm helping them out and yeah magda's like like you know like stubs out a cigarette and, and is like okay well i'm going on break and like <laughs> But before she, as she turns around, Orange is just standing there with their hand out. Yeah, just and like, Meg's like, like waiting for her. Oh. Meg's like just, <laughs> just like stares it. at you and just like shakes her head and walks off. Like, <laughs> like what the fuck? All right, so we'll take our break also, uh, um, like Magda, and we'll be back in a minute. 